Hello and welcome to Heart on My Sleeves Mental Health Log. Today's topic is Toxic People Suck. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment, question, or suggestion down below. Remember you have to scroll past the videos that are immediately below this video and then if this topic touches you or you feel like it would benefit somebody that you care about, please feel free to share. Hi family, Christine here. Today I want to talk about a big, big subject and that is toxic people and toxic situations. So I had therapy this week and one of the things that my therapist um, shared with me is that at the root of almost all depression, there is one of two things, sometimes both, but generally one of two things. Um, there are lies that we tell and believe about ourselves, um, but they're lies nonetheless. And those two things that we learn somehow or believe somehow is that we are unlovable or we are unworthy. So anybody or a situation that makes you feel that way is toxic. So I'm going to give you the definition of toxicity as defined by the Merriam-Webster dictionary um, so that you can kind of get the gravity of the situation. So toxicity is the state, quality, or relative degree of being poisonous. So think about that. We're really believing poisonous thoughts about ourselves if we believe we're unlovable or unworthy. Um, huge. That's really huge when you think about it. Um, or an extremely harsh, malicious, or harmful quality is a quality of being toxic. So giving credit where credit is due. Um, this is from Psychology Today. And the qualities of toxic people are as follows. I'm going to read this to you so I don't goof it up. They are manipulative, judgmental, they don't take responsibility for their actions. In other words, they make you feel crappy and like it's your fault and they're not supportive and they show little interest in things that make a difference or really are important to you. So that's the definition of a toxic person. So I want you to take inventory of the people that you're putting yourself around and see if any of the people in your life um, fit one of those quali one or more of those qualities. So it's important to take that inventory because toxic people can come from all different places. Uh, they could be family, um, immediate family, extended family. Um, it could be a significant other. Um, it could be a coworker or a boss or someone you consider a friend. Think about the people who you need or seek approval from. Do these people make you feel bad about yourself or explain your worthiness? If then, if that's the case, they're probably a toxic person. And when you're able to rid these people of your life, it's not something that they will likely be happy about. Toxic people don't like losing the control they have over you. And sometimes when you try to back off from your relationship with them, they lash out. So what I would do is I would recommend that you find somebody that's healthy, a healthy force in your life, and let them know that I'm going to be severing from Amy. I'm just going to name my person Amy. I'm going to be severing from Amy. And this is why I think she's a toxic person in my life because of this, that, and the other thing. And I think I'd be healthier mentally if I could separate myself from her. And I need your support to do that. I will almost guarantee you that the people that are healthy forces or um, healthy for your men or good for your mental health are going to support that because they already know it. They see what that person does to you and they care enough about you that they're willing to step in and say, I'm going to be here for you and I'm going to help you. There's not going to be any hesitation. So then what you need to do is you need to make a plan. You have to be thoughtful about it because like I said, those people are uh, likely to lash out. So you want to be prepared for that. 
and then you go through with your plan and you have to be strong in your convictions. So you don't want to waver and go back and forth. Toxic people can tend to be very manipulative. So they'll make you feel bad for leaving them. They'll make you feel like they can't go on without you. Well, if that's the case, then they should have treated you better and made you want to stay with them and be with them. So I can tell you I've had to remove several toxic people from my life over the last several years. And many of them were family members. Um... There are some hurts that I can forgive, but I need to maintain distance in order to protect myself, my heart, and my mental health, and that's okay. I can actually think of about five people in my family right now that I've had to do that for. Um, mind you, I have a large family. Um, but there are certain benefits that I gained by doing this. I felt an immediate sense of relief that I no longer cared about these people and what they thought about me. They tried to keep me down by talking about me behind my back. So when I had those people in my life that were my support, they were there and able to shut that conversation down. They loved me enough to help me cut that situation down. I was re able to regain a sense of optimism. So once you sever those toxic ties, you'll begin to notice that hanging feeling that you had when you're around them goes away. And all of a sudden you feel like a lighter person. And that makes you a happy person to be around in general. Um, even when there's situations within your family, if you have to let toxic family members go and you end up having to be at uh, family functions, once there's been enough time and healing involved, um, those people are going to notice that they no longer impact you. And honestly, that's their problem. So I'm just going to say this because he's passed, but one of the people that I had to say goodbye to was my uncle. And he made a very um, direct point every time he saw me to talk to my husband and act like I wasn't standing right there. So he would talk to me and ask him about his health. How are you doing? How's work going? And then he would shake his hand and say goodbye, Chad, and then walk away. And I'm standing right there. And it made me laugh. So I would wait till he's halfway down the driveway and I'd yell, goodbye, Uncle Ken. And I'm just letting him know, hey, it doesn't bother me. That's all your deal. It's not mine. But, um... That's a huge thing when you can feel that weight lift. Um, that weight is what they used as their power to hold you down so that you weren't able to feel like a good, healthy, worthy, lovable person. Uh, people who are toxic generally are not supportive people. They stifle your ability to flourish. No longer needing their support or approval, you can begin to open yourself up to new things. You can make new friends. You can find new interests. You can have new hobbies. These are all great ways to grow as a person. And then lastly, what you do is you gain a sense of self-worth. So there's something that's completely magical about believing in yourself. And something that I'm still working on with my therapist... <clears throat> uh, one of my struggles that I had was a toxic work environment. So I'm about two years out from that and I feel like I'm finally recovering from it, for lack of a better term. Um, I'm just beginning to realize that they didn't deserve me. I'm worth more than the crap that I went through doing my best to save a company from itself. And I still think it's sad that they're losing clients and they're losing large, long-term clients, but I don't own any of that anymore. Um, they're basically lying in the bed that they made, and as much as I tried to stop that train, I wasn't able to. Um, but I can say that I know I gave it my all, and I probably gave it more of me than I should have in a setting healthy boundaries kind of way. So I want you to realize that it takes two willing and engaged people to have a healthy relationship. So if somebody is making you feel unlovable or a situation is making you feel unworthy, 
here and now I am giving you permission to let go of that person. Find somebody that you know and you love and you trust to support you. Make a plan to get away from that person and then stay strong in your convictions because you are worthy of love. To bring those two back together, you are worthy of love. I hope that this helped. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. Remember, you'll have to scroll past the videos directly below this and um, leave a comment there, but you'll need a YouTube account to be able to do that. I hope that helps. Have a great day, everybody.